I have nothing against someone transitioning and living their life how they want to. I do have something against, you know, competing against biological women as a male swimmer who sucked as a male and then transitioned to a female and is now this champion. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's sip is 1907, my favorite water. Let's get it. All right, today's topic is FINA, which is a swimming organization that embodies all swimming, I think, from the Olympics all the way down to the NCAA, has officially c -c -c canceled Leah Thomas. So everyone knows the Leah Thomas controversy, otherwise you're Patrick Starr living under a rock. I'll have Andrew throw up some pictures. Current swimming champion, you know, transitioned later in life, has all the advantages of being a biological male and controlling hormones. I've already touched on this in the Caster Semina video. And shout out to Caster, right? She got played her whole career where Leah in the beginning was being put on a pedestal. Not anymore. Enough outrage has happened that Fina has stepped in and has banned all transgenders from competing if you've gone through a bout of puberty. And I'll have Andrew throw Leah up. You can see the shoulders. You can see the jawline. That's... I have nothing against someone transitioning and living their life how they want to. I do have something against, you know, competing against bi biological women as a male swimmer who sucked as a male and then transitioned to a female and is now this champion. That has stopped. I'm glad that the uproar has finally taken this on tip of the spear because I'll have Andrew play a snippet of that Good Morning America. Trans people don't transition for athletics. We transition to be happy and authentic and our true selves. Transitioning to get an advantage is not something that ever factors into our decisions. You didn't transition to win more medals. No. You can see Leah don't give a fuck, right? Leah don't give a fuck. Leah knows he, she has an advantage. When they go in the pool, there's only one nutsack in the pool when they get in there. When they go in the pool, there's something hanging from Leah. You know, it might be little, itty bitty, itty bitty, but all the other women don't have that. They never had those high hormones throughout their years of puberty. They don't have that muscle density, a completely different genetic structure from the XY chromosome. They don't have that. Let women's sports thrive. Let women compete against women. Someone who experienced androgens for most of their life and then transitioned after sucking as a male swimmer to a female swimmer becomes a champion we can't be having that we can't be just going into this and accepting all this like we have to have morals and standards here still in 2022 although they're being thrown out the window so i'm super glad fina stepped up to the plate and i'm hoping that after leah thomas gets nuked off this pedestal we don't have any more of this clown world bullshit you know i was watching the conservative twins on this and they said it looked like an episode of south park and it's true it really looks like an episode of south park when you see some of these current events playing out and i'm just glad leah is no more give the actual woman who won her championship medal and let leah live her life how she wants to live it but not competing against biological women i'll see you in my next video